So is the new Tweeterhead Skeletor life-size bust a hit or miss? Find out next. Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Hope you're all doing really great out there. And welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. Now on this channel, we talk about Batman all the time, but I do like to highlight some pieces outside of the Batman universe from time to time that I think are amazing. And today I wanna to talk about Tweeterhead. Tweeterhead is just an incredible company. They've been doing amazing work over the last number of years, but it's the last year they have really upped the ante. They have really started producing these incredible statues with so much detail. Um, I've actually been able to see some of the work that they're working on, and I just have to tell you guys, it's gonna blow you away. It is just absolutely incredible. And I think a lot of that is due to their new art director. Of course, I'm talking about David Igo, and David is absolutely amazing. We've had him on the channel before, and it's just so, just so incredibly exciting to me to see what they are able to produce and what they're producing and bringing us in the future as collectors. But one thing I really wanted to highlight today was something that David Igo actually brought to us. And this is the Skeletor life-size bust, again, from Tweeterhead. I think this is their first bust they've ever done, or certainly their first life-size thing they've done. And this is really incredible to be able to see, uh, because I really think this piece is really quite incredible. But I did want to share all of the images and pre-order information. It's actually up for pre-order right now. I will put the link down below in the description. But I wanted to see... Is it a hit or a miss? All right, guys, so here we go. And look at this thing. It is just insane how good this thing is. Um, I grew up with Masters of the Universe. Uh, Castle Grayskull was my favorite Christmas present as a kid. Um, I absolutely loved the cartoons. I loved the characters. I loved everything about it. Uh, of course, you know, as I grew older, you know, it kind of slipped my mind a little bit, and I focused on Batman, of course. But these characters were amazing in the 80s. Uh, they are just, you know, second to none how good they are. And this Skeletor is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Skeletor was clearly my favorite character. I always liked the bad guys. Um, but this thing just is incredible. It is just mind-blowing how good it is to me. Uh, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, it is definitely a hit for me, especially with the price point uh, and the size and the detail that you're getting with this piece. Um, I'm just really blown away truly by this piece. Um, it is 28 inches high by 30.5 inches wide by 17 inches deep, so it is a big piece. Um, there are also some options with this one. Um, you do have a fabric hood, um, which is posable. Um, you can also take it down if you want, which again, you look at the skull, it's just absolutely fantastic. Look at the way it's painted. Um, it almost has like an iridescent look. It's just absolutely fantastic and terrifyingly creepy. Um, it also has incredible detail on it. I mean, just look at this shoulder armor. It is incredible. Um, I love the texturing. I love the detail work here. And I think the paint looks absolutely fantastic. Um, almost always the paint that you get in hand is exactly what you see with the prototype with tweeter head. Um, so I am very confident that what you're going to get here is exactly what you're seeing here in these images. Um, you also have the ability to take the cape off, which is really cool too. So if you don't like the cape element, um, you have the ability to be able to take that off, which I think is a nice touch. And then let's take a look at the chest. I mean, come on, look at the, look how realistic that looks. It is just insane to me. Um, I, I'm just amazed that this is polystone. Uh, I think that they did a phenomenal job with the sculpt here, the texturing, again, the paint, that looks like a real chest to me. It is just really well done. Look at the muscle in the chest. Like it's just so realistic and so well done. Of course, all of that beautiful armor on top is just incredible. Uh, the base is really nice. You know, it's a little bit simplistic, uh, but it does, you know, not take away from the statue. It has that nice under glow, basically like that lava look, which is really good. Um, so I really like the base. Um, but again, what you're looking at is that torso. You're looking at that chest. You're looking at that incredible portrait. And again, I, I like the fact that it's a posable cape uh, or a posable hood. Uh, I think that's a really nice touch. Um, this is $1,000. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that again. This is $1,000, which I think is absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm really blown away by the fact that this was not more money. Um, they have come out and said, you know, that they wanted to start out strong. They wanted to start out at a good price point um, to show you guys the quality. Um, they, they obviously want this thing to do well uh, so they can make more. I mean, how great would this be uh, for a whole line? But again, $1,000, 28 inches tall, 30.5 inches wide by 17 inches deep. 
I, I think it's an absolute hit for Tweeterhead. I'm really excited for them. Like I said, um, they are a company on the rise. Um, the detail, the level uh, of consistency that they are producing now is just really second to none. And I'm really excited for everybody that's excited or interested in picking up Batman pieces or Masters of the Universe pieces or anything else that they put their hands on right now. Uh, I'm really excited for everybody. Uh, I do think this is absolutely a hit. Uh, it is up for pre-order right now as we speak. I will put the uh, link in the description down below. Uh, if you do use that link, it does help this channel out tremendously. So thank you very much for supporting us. And uh, I do wanna know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this one? Is this one a hit for you? Are you picking this up? Um, because I just think it's freaking awesome. But again, I wanna know your thoughts down below. Please leave them. Otherwise, just thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave. Now go pick up this awesome Skeletor because it's freaking awesome. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.